today our math is going to be just a little bit different. We are going to read a math story and we're going to have to find the important pieces. But we're going to do it in a little different way. Two days ago on Wednesday, we used cubes. Yesterday, we used counters. Today, we are going to use a bar model. Does everyone see this? A bar model. So it kind of looks like a bar, doesn't it? Like your handle bars on your bike. They're straight across or like the bar on your chair. So that is why it is called a bar model. But first, what should we probably do? Good morning. Well, that's true, but we don't have our papers out quite yet. What should we, what should I do up here first? What are we counting? We are going to be the bar, but how do I know how many to put? I don't get to just write anything. I have to write something specific. Okay, but how do I know which numbers to write? Thank you. You have to read this first. And remember, just like yesterday, we are going to circle important numbers. But I'm going to do this first and I want you to watch first. Then we're going to go back and do it together again so that we get some extra practice and so that you can really watch and know exactly how I want you to do it. Can you do that with me? Okay. Let's read together. Hannah has four red flowers in a vase. She puts two more red flowers in the vase. How many flowers are in the vase? How can you use a model to find out? So what are my important numbers? Only one person can see important numbers. What are my important numbers? Four and two are my important numbers. So I'm going to circle those so that I remember that I need to use those numbers. Can I use the number eight? Why not? It's not in our story, is it? Can I use the number six? No, it's not in our story. You are exactly right. So we know that we've got four red flowers and two red and two more flowers. Did I circle that important information? Yeah. Yes. What am I trying to find? How many what? What am I trying to find? No, that's how many we have of what? Flowers, thank you. So that's how many flowers I have. Does it want to know how many dogs I have? No. Does it want to know how many uh, pencils I have? No. It wants to know how many flowers I have. So is that kind of important to know? Yeah. I think so. Okay. How big is the number four and the number two? How big are they? really big numbers? No. no, they're not really big numbers. So with your fingers, I want you to show me how big, um, not showing me like this, thinking to me, with your fingers, how wide, how wide do you think a number four is? Good, yeah, about that many. So if I were to put four tiles there, that would fit about four. Okay, show me the number two. How big is two? Do you guys see what you did? Your fingers got closer. Why? Because it's number 
two is smaller than number four. Now let's take a look at our, our model again, please. If you notice, there are two boxes. And I know I am going to use the numbers four and the numbers two because it tells me that in my story. Which box is going to be the number four and which box is going to be the number two? Which box is going to be the number four? The pink box or the yellow box? Why? But if they look like this, are they going to be the same number? Whoa. 